Okay, hi there everybody. Uh, Paul Williams here. Um, here on Twitch at twitch.tv slash wretched. And I was recently asked to do this tutorial because evidently some people don't quite exactly know how to set up uh, OBS's uh, record feature. So that way instead of just recording to Twitch or Hitbox or whatever streaming service, you can actually just record the files locally. So right now I'm using OBS to actually record this. You know my backdrop, backdrop, by the way. I just love that photo. Anyway, uh, as you can see, I'm kind of already using OBS to record the desktop. Ooh, trippy. Let's uh, get that disabled real quick. Okay, there we go. So uh, right now, uh, this is my current OBS setup. As you can see, I currently have a few different uh, scene setups and so forth. So what we're going to do is we're going to pretty much go into our settings window and we're going to hit settings and you're going to get this window right here. Uh, let me actually, actually see this before I actually start it. Just give me one second. I'm going to move that over there. There we go. And now we're going to go to settings and then we're going to drag that back over there. There we go. All right. So on this window right here, you're going to click just, you're going to set it up as you normally would, uh, name your profile, Set up your encoding options like you normally would. Uh, in my case, I have 2500 bit rate. Uh, CBR is enabled, CBR kind is enabled, X24 is my encoder. I could use NVIDIA and, and ENC or QuickSync, but I'd rather not. Uh, go ahead to the broadcasting. Now, on this tab right here, this is where you're going to change the settings at. Uh, you can either go on ahead and change it to live stream. You can have pretty much the same profile set up to do two things. You can have it set up to record the video, or you can set it up to uh, broadcast onto Twitch, or you can set it up to both at the same time. So in my case, I set it up to do both at the same time. So obviously here, you're going to simply choose a streaming service. Uh, if you don't want to stream on Twitch ever, which is kind of silly, but uh, if you never want to stream on Twitch, just simply change this from live stream to file output only. And notice how you lose like half of the options. That's absolutely fine. Now what you're going to do is you're going to establish a path. In my case, this is going to be the path where the files are going to be recorded at, and I recorded MP4s. Uh, from here, you just simply choose a browse, choose a directory, and so forth like that, and then name your file. So in this case, my videos are going to be uh, shared to E users, Paul Williams, uh, my videos directory, Twitch replays, and then dollar sign dollar sign T uh, tells OBS to input the entire name of the uh, the current time of the video. Uh, you really don't have to use the replay buffer that much. This is if you want to do some uh, extra stuff like uh, set up like a little replay system. Uh, and then from there, just to simply continue setting up the videos as you need. Uh, we're not going to hit no. Uh, from here, just simply choose which video adapter you're going to use. Uh, you should more than likely be using your GTA, your, your main, the main one where you're actually broadcasting video out at. Um, in my case, mine is actually set up as a dual um, graphics processor. I have a G4, uh, GCS 760 and an HD graphics. My main gameplay that I see on my monitors stays on the GeForce GTX, so we're going to choose the GTX. Uh, from here, just choose a custom and then choose what resolution you want the video to be displayed at. And now I see why OBS actually just switched this over to the wrong size. I never noticed that. Uh, FPS should be up to 60. Disable arrow if you want to. If you're using monitor capture like I am, this, this reduces the flicker a lot. So what this means is that uh, whenever you turn on OBS, if you have arrow backgrounds and graphics and glass and whatever, this disables it while OBS is running. Uh, audio, uh, yes. Audio, you really don't need to mess around with that much, but uh, sometimes you may need to force your uh, microphone to be a certain input. So in my case, it's my Steel Siberia microphone. Desktop audio should be set to default. Uh, that just pretty much means just capture all the sound that's going out somewhere. Um, if you have like something like virtual audio cables, you can you, you can select one of the virtual audio cables here or here. Uh, push to talk delay, desktop boost, and micro audio boost. This all can stay at default 200110. Uh, hot keys, if you want to push up a button specifically for starting and stopping a stream, you can do so there. In advance, this is where stuff gets a little bit tricky. Um, your preset should be set to very fast, where X64 pretty much wishes the default. UCFR should be checked. 
keyframe interval should be up to two seconds and everything else should be defaulted. You don't need to ever go to 120 frames a second. No, nope, no video service that I know of can handle a full 120 frames. Um, not, not Twitch, not YouTube, not anything. Just leave all this alone. Uh, quick sync encoder is if you're using the Intel version, which tends to be a little bit better actually than uh, NVIDIA's NVENC. So you have a NVIDIA, if you have an Intel later edition, later model card, more recent model card, you could actually use this. Uh, just it's recommended to use the default uh, as laid out. But since I'm not using quick sync, this is disabled and I can't change anything on here. And everything else just stays same as well. Browser, microphone, nose gate, and scene switcher. Just leave it all alone. Um, and then after that, just simply press OK. And then you're going to bring your OBS back over here. And then we're going to disable this. And then just simply hit Stop Recording, which is what I'm going to do after that. Well, this actually will be Start Recording. Uh, if you set it up to both stream and record, like on one profile, you would have to hit both of these. Not to say necessarily at the same time, but just hit both of them. So when you're streaming and that you're recording, which is also possible to do. Um, other than that, I hope this helps. And if you have any questions, feel free to hit me up on Twitch or my Facebook profile at fb.com slash wretched. Uh, thank you guys for watching and take care.